Over the course of two days in February, women religious gathered in Chicago to explore next steps in women religious moving forward in hope. Two years ago, NRBC sponsored two individual programs that were geared to help bring renewal within religious life. These two programs were called the Keys to the Future Process, as well as four gatherings of women religious moving forward in hope. Because of the success of these two programs, what we have done is that we have identified sisters from various diverse communities to bring them together to identify what are the next steps in order to keep this important conversation of new membership moving forward. I think that we need to be set on fire <laughs> to have the Holy Spirit um, move us and stir us to, to reach out to uh, women who are interested in religious life but might not really know how to pursue that call. I think our greatest need at this point of our history is to find ways to engage with the next generation that will be our members of the Society of the Holy Child Jesus or any religious congregation. At this meeting, what we did was we, we provided additional input by Sister Mary Johnson and convened a group of younger sisters to tell us what their hopes and dreams are. In addition, we had four sisters present some of the successes that they have achieved within their own congregations regarding their vocation promotion programs. You know, one of the stories that shared is about that young, uh, you know, just professed, comes back to the community, and one of the older members said, Welcome to the Titanic. Well, we shared this story in, in one of our communities, and one of our sisters got up and she said, Well, you know, even the Titanic had survivors. <laughs> and I just thought that was such a great uh, sign of hope, you know. And, and this is, was a really important statement for me, and I think it has been stressed. That we, as religious congregations, we just share who we are with youth and the commitment and skill to service theological reflection and discernment, all of which are key to this program and key to the future of religious life in it. All 50 of our community participated in the KEYS program and we claimed our strengths because we do live community life together. We do have a strong liturgical liturgy of the hours and Eucharist and we said we've got those three and let's claim them and live them. The program ignited vocation directors and leadership with intentional actions that will help build the future of the religious life from the ground up. By their participation, this group of vibrant and engaged vocation directors and members of leadership are acknowledging that religious life is evolving and emerging in ways that will appeal to the next generation of young women who are feeling called to consecrated life.